up guys, RMP Connect here. Um, just showing you a quick video of overclocking the GTX 570. Um, somebody had left a comment saying that, uh, you know, if asked if I was going to overclock it and I said no because I was worried about the temperatures, but <clears throat> um, I played around with it some more last night and as you can see here in MSI Afterburner, um, I got the core clock, shader clock, and memory to overclock pretty decent. Um, with a small, you know, pretty small bump in voltage. Um, the core clock um, is at 900, the shader clock is at 1800, and the memory clock is at 2000. Um, now, to get it stable at that, I had to get the core voltage to 1.075 or 1075 as it shows on MSI Afterburner. Um, temperatures, if I run Furmark, go up to as high as I saw, it can pretty much caps out at 82. Um, and that's after like three minutes of running Furmark. Um, I mean, I can run it longer, um, but you know, it was it was stable and the temperatures weren't bad at that point. Um, I did play some games and I ran like 3D Mark 11 and things like that. Um, it didn't crash. Everything was perfectly stable and the temps were all within reason. Actually, uh, playing games, they were they didn't even reach 80s. They reached like uh, mid 70s. So. Um, the stock voltage on this card, because it's factory overclocked, was uh, a 1.000. Um, the core clock was 750, the shader clock 1600, and the memory clock 1950. Uh, on these cards, you really don't need to bump up the memory because you don't see that much of a performance gain. Uh, most of the gain comes from the shader clock. So, uh, if you can see here, on the side, um, you know, idling right now. Uh, I also just ran um, another round of Furmark, but uh, the, the idle temps right now are 47. They do get a little bit lower. Um, if you go down a little bit more, the GPU sh uh, shader clock on one and two, um, when you're not using it. Um, go you know they they go down they don't use this overclock at all at all times either um you know it's saying that the GPU clock's fit at 51 the shader clock is at 101 um the memory is at you know 222 so uh it's um it's actually pretty nice it it really the overclock really only kicks in when you're you know running some kind of 3D application where the GPU actually has to get used so uh, it's pretty good. Um, believe me, it is perfectly stable. Um, just to give you an idea, um, running 3D Mark 11 on stock. Um, now this is also overclocked. Uh, the CPU is over also overclocked at 4.5. Show you that real quick. <coughs> um, like I said, it's overclocked to 4.5, as you can see here. 4.5. Uh, the actual voltage is 1.26 in the BIOS, but CPU-Z um, and my motherboard pushes the voltage up a little bit, so it reads at 1.28, but not a big deal. The, the temperatures stay within reason. Temperatures uh, idle are like 38. Um, and then under load, um, it gets to like 73, 74. Um, I reseated the heat sink and stuff like that just to uh, double check and make sure everything was set right. and. Uh, you know the temperatures dropped a little bit more. Um, uh, so anyway, so 3D Mark 11 uh, basically uh, at stock it scored 90 9236. Then with an increase um, overclock to 850 1700 on the shader and 2000 on the memory, it scored 9842. And then with it overclocked to 900 on the clock, uh, 1800 on the shader and 2000 on the memory, it jumped up to um, uh, 10,932 or something like that. So uh, the performance gain was incredible, absolutely incredible. Um, I, I, I mean, these cards are absolute monsters, and you won't be disappointed if you go, you know, get the 570s. It's, it's they're just unbelievable. They overclock real nice. It's an Nvidia card, so they do get warm. You know, don't worry about it. And uh, 
yeah, uh, it's it's great. Um, I apologize that I can't show you, um, you know, running Furmark or anything like that because uh, I, you can't capture uh, Furmark when it's running, and you can't take a screenshot either uh, afterwards. It just, it, I've tried it a hundred times. It, I can't get it to work. Maybe there's another way around it, but, um, but just believe me, it, it, this is perfectly stable. Um, you know, each card is different, so the voltage, um, you know, the voltage you'll have to push up to get it at this clock, you know, will probably vary from card to card. Um, uh, doing some research, uh, so other people have said that they had to get the core voltage to 1.1 to get it stable. Others say they can get it stable at um, uh, 1.05. You know, it's, like I said, it varies from card to card, so. Um, yeah, so this is it. This is my uh, official overclock that I'm going to keep it at 24-7. Uh, like I said, if you just doing normal thing, browsing the web, anything along those lines where the GPU does not get access that much, it downclocks the card um, considerable amount so you don't have to worry about the overclock being set constantly. Um, and then as soon as you play a game or launch something that you requires the GPU, the overclock kicks in and you're ready to and you're, you know you're ready to go. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, this is just a video just to show you that uh, I am going to overclock it. The temperatures are already are in check, and uh, you know, if you do get a 570, good luck. You will enjoy it much, and um, I'll see you in the next video.